We have studied about planning, everything about planning. We have studied about the concept of planning, definition of planning, its features and limitations as well. It is important to understand the process of planning students, how this planning takes place. What are the processes that are involved in this planning? Let's understand that in detail. We will study each and every process. You know, the planning process starts with the setting objective. I will explain you what does this term mean in detail ahead. Let's understand what are the different different procedures, processes, steps that are involved in the process of planning. Setting objective. First of all, managers set objective, then they develop premises, then they identify the alternative course of action, then they evaluate those alternatives, and then they select from those alternatives, they select best from those alternatives and then they implement those plan and after implementation, they follow up the action, they check if plan has been made accordingly or not. So let's understand what are the different, different details of setting objective. Setting objective, first of all, all the managers, they set objective. This is the primary step in the process of planning yes student primary primary means first primary step in the process of planning which specifies the objective of an organization that is what an organization wants to achieve suppose you are a mobile phone company and you want to produce 2 lakh unit of mobile so you will find out first of all you will set the objective what is your goal you right now you are making 2 lakh units your goal your objective is to double that unit means your target your objective is to produce 4 lakh unit of units of mobile so this is what setting objective the planning process begin with the setting of objective objectives that are end result which the management want to achieve by its operations objectives are end results also students making objective means find out the end results so that all other functions of management can move to that direction so this is what objectives are end result which the management want to achieve by its operations next point of setting objective is objectives are set for the organization as a whole for all departments yes when top level managers they plan out the thing when they make objective they make objective for the whole organization top level managers make objective for the whole organization middle level managers make objective for their respective departments also lower level managers also make some objective for their operational level department every level of manager management makes planning they set objective and then department set their own objective as i explained you and within the framework of organization of objective they make their objective as per the framework of objective that was made by the top level managers so uh, as example is given here i have also explained you so setting objective means you are running a company and you are a mobile phone company, you are producing 2 lakhs unit of mobiles. Your target, your objective is to produce 4 lakh units. That is the setting objective. Now, how do organization develop premises? And what does this term developing premises means? It means planning is essentially focused on future. As we know that planning is futuristic in nature and there are certain events which are expected to affect the policy of formation. Such events are external in nature and affect the planning adversely if ignored. While planning, we have to develop some premises because we know that the planning is futuristic. We have to see, foresee things for the future and it is dynamic also in nature because external factors of the environment, they keep on changing with time. Their understanding and fair assessment are necessary for 
effective planning. So while making planning, we have to develop assumption, we have to make premises that these are the possibilities and we have to make plans according to that. Such events are assumption. Yes, assumption. Developing premises, is it's kind of assumption making predetermined assumption on the basis of plans are drawn and are known as planning premises. These Assumption are known as planning premises. Developing plan premises means developing planning premises. For example, the mobile phone company has set the objective of 2 lakh unit. You are running a mobile phone company and you have the target. You have uh, set the objective of 2 lakh unit sale on the basis of forecast done on the premises. I have explained you that you have planned out that you are going to produce 4 lakh unit. Here example is saying that their target is producing 2 lakh unit sale on the basis of forecast done on the premises of favorable government policy. This premises has been done on the basis of the government policy. Government policy was in the favor of the organization that says that they will provide facilities for the digitization of the business for the digital business as well. So, they made plans according to that, right? This is what developing premises. Okay, these are another, another important points that you need not to forget. You have to remember that assumption are the base material upon which plans are to be drawn. Yes, assumption are the base material. We have to assume something. Now, we must have some target. We have to assume. Then only we can plan out that we have to achieve that target. The base material may be in form of forecast, existing plans, means we can take uh, premises or base as a forecast or our existing plans also. Any past in information can be used for making policies. All managers involved in planning should be familiar with and with the use of assumption. All the managers, they must know how to use their assumption. Assumption may be the forecast, may be the existing plans. It can be anything, but they must know that how to involve those assumptions in planning. After setting objective and developing premises, we have another step of the process of planning that is identifying alternative course of action. Yes, at the time of planning, we also find out what are the different different alternatives that are available in the business okay so identifying alternative means once objectives are set suppose you have set out the objective you have set out the objective that you wanna produce 4 lakh unit right let's uh, stick to the our uh, first exam example that is you wanna uh, improve your sale and you wanna produce 4 lakh units you have uh, set out the objective you have developed the premises you have set uh, you have uh, evaluated everything now what you will do, you will identify the alternative course of action. Once objectives are set, assumptions are made, the next step is to act upon them. For acting upon them, you have to identify the alternatives. There may be many ways to act and achieve those objectives. All the alternative course of action should be identified. There, there are many, many, alter, uh, um, there may be any uh, alternatives we have to check. The mobile company has many alternatives like reducing price to increase, increase the sale. What you can do? You are imagining yourself as a, a company, na, as an owner of the company. What you can do to increase your sale? You can reduce the price. You can increase advertisement. You can increase the promotion. The, these are the uh, policies that can be made. After sale service, you can provide your customers after sale service so that they can they buy your product more and more. How does advertise, advertisement help? Advertisement will help in uh, sale because people will come to know about their product, right? They will come to know that uh, this is the company, XYZ mobile company and that company is making awesome phones. Uh, you make it available to them. You have mentioned everything on advertisement. They will be attracted to buy that phone. They will buy that phone and automatically your sale will get increased. If your price is low, yes, this is also another method of increasing sale. It is a tendency of people to buy more when there is a price of less, when there is a less prices. 
you you must have studied in your economics also demand rises when price falls right so this is what how this is why we can say that these are the techniques that can be used while making plans these are the alternatives so we have how many alternatives we have this alternative that we can reduce price this is an alternative we can increase advertisement we can prom do promotion we can do after sale services as well these are identifying the alternative course of action okay students in the planning process we have set the objective we have set the objective that we have to produce 4 lakh unit of mobile right that is our objective we have developed the premises also we have developed premises on the basis of the government policy liberalized government policy then we have found out the different different alternatives that how can we increase our sale we can increase by sale by increasing our advertisement by increasing our sales part by providing after sale services by provide by reducing the cost of the product by reducing the price of the mobile cost of the product means price of the mobile that's how we can do we have found out the alternative now next procedure is to evaluate the alternative course of action now we have to evaluate alternative course of action students in this step the positive and negative aspect of each alternative need to be evaluated yes what does this term means positives and negatives we have found out that we have alternatives we can reduce the price we can increase the sales by producing more we can provide after sale services we can improve our advertisement part but now at the time of evaluating those alternatives our part is we have to find out the positive of each and every alternative as well as negatives of each and every aspect of each alternative need to be evaluated in the light of objectives to be achieved we have to take care of the objectives what was the main objective and then we have to evaluate our these alternatives on the basis of that only next is every alternative is evaluated in terms of lower cost lower risk and higher returns what should be our target at the time of evaluation our target should be we have to find out that which method which alternative is low, lower in the cost which has least risk and which is giving us higher return we have to opt for that alternative we have to choose that alternative within the planning premises and within the availability of capital we have to see that how much capital we we have we have to see the positives and negatives how we have to see that how much return it is providing it, it should be lower in cost it should be lower in risk you are a mobile phone company and you will evaluate all those alternatives and checks check the pros and cons positive negative means pros and cons clear students now our next step is to select one best alternative yes student we have done everything we have set the objective we have developed the premises we have found out the different different alternatives we have evaluated those alternatives as well now it's time to select we have to take decision we have to choose best from those alternative the best plan which is the most profitable plan and with minimum negative effects is adopted and implemented yes we have to choose the best plan which is the most profitable which has maximum profit most profitable means maximum profit and with minimum negative effects means with minimum cons right is to be adopted and implemented then in such areas the managers experience and judgment play an important role yes top level managers or middle level managers they take decision their experience matters a lot when a manager is experienced enough he would take right decision if you have appointed best manager that your manager will going to choose best alternative on the basis of experiment and judgment he can select the best alternative 
ultimately best alternative must be chosen from different different alternatives you are mobile phone company and you will select that more tv advertisement and online marketing with great after service could work for your objective means you have found out that to increase the say, uh, the number of unit 4 lakh unit what can you do you can choose tv advertisement media to for the advertisement part and online marketing as you know that uh, everything is digitized now so you have chosen that online marketing would be appropriate to increase the sale of your product okay you have done that part now next procedure is implementation of the plan yes student you have done everything but you have to implement those plans na it is not like that you have made plan now you will sit back and relax okay i have made plans i don't need to do anything is it possible is uh, things work like that will you be able to attain your objective like this no na so next procedure is implementing those plans you have plan out everything you have made blueprint uh, of everything you have chosen best alternative you have chosen that advertisement in the television and digital digital marketing would be appropriate for your budget as per the risk factor and everything you have chosen that part now it's time to communicate each and every person of the organization about it it's the time to implement the plan what you will do this is the step where other managerial functions come into picture yes this step is connected with doing what is required now you have to do what is actually required and what is in this step what is in this step managers communicate with the employees clearly to help convert the plans into action now it is the direction time in direct interacting or managers communicate with the employees and they direct them towards achieving the goal of the organization in this step managers communicate they talk with the employees about the plans they have made and they made make it in the procedure they they made uh, available all the resources they made av available all the information to the employees next step is involved is all allocating the resources organizing for labor and purchase of machinery yes implementation involves everything now it's time for organizing staffing directing and controlling uh, all other functions will start moving now this steps involves you have to understand it again step involve allocating the resources allocating the resources organizing as well as organizing the labor or the middle level managers and purchase of machinery if there is a requirement of the machinery you will purchase that part if there is a requirement to recruit someone you will recruit that that is what implementation is mobile phone company you are a mobile phone company and then you will hire salesmen on large scale because your ultimate goal is to increase the sale of your product so what you will do you will hire the employees salesmen you will create tv advertisement you will give uh, you will do some expenses on the advertisement part you will start online marketing you will recruit someone or you will recruit some agency or company who knows how to do digital marketing so you will provide them each and every information so that they can do digital marketing of your product like digital marketing means uh, marketing on facebook instagram twitter uh linkedin and everything there are so many more digital platform that we have right now through which we can market our product so this is what you have to do and you can uh, set up a service for workshop also these are the thing that you have to do for implementing the plan okay students in the process of planning we have set out the objective we have developed our premises and then we have found out different different alternatives we have chosen from those best alternative 
we have uh, planned out implemented those implement uh, those uh, all the in the process of planning we have set out the objective right we have developed the premises we have found out the different different alternatives right we have selected from those alternative we have implemented those alternative after checking pros and cons of that now it's time to do the follow up action you know uh, in follow up action we decide that our plans are making proper going in proper direction or not things are working properly or not that is a follow up action part monitoring the plan constant constantly monitoring the plan constantly means it is not like that we have made plans and uh, that's it we have to implement the plan that i have explained you we have to impl implement the plan by recruiting more sales personnel uh, by doing expenses on advertisement media by doing expenses on the digital marketing part after that process does not over yet all the managers have to monitor the plan constant, constantly and taking feedback at regular intervals is called follow up means now it's time to take the feedback monitoring of the plan is very important to ensure that the plans are being implemented according to the schedule yes what does monitoring means monitoring means check out checking out of plans is very important to ensure that plans are being implemented according to the schedule according to the objectives that was made by the managers previously in starting regular checks and comparison of the result with set standard are to be done in planning we set out some standards we have set out standard that we have to sell 4 lakh units now when process starts we have to compare we have to do the comparisons of the results the results we have right now are to be done to ensure that objectives are achieved i have explained you earlier also right now also i am explaining that planning bridges the gap between where we are right now and where we have to achieve in planning we also do the comparison part in controlling also we do the comparison part we do the follow up part in planning itself what we do we do a regular checks and compare of compare all the results all the set standards to ensure objectives are achieved for example proper feedback mechanism was developed by mobile phone company you are a mobile phone company what you have done you have uh, made a proper feedback mechanism for mobile company throughout its branches so that the actual customer response revenue collection employee response etc could be known what you have done you have made a proper mechanism proper feedback mechanism you have developed proper feedback mechanisms of by the mobile phone company you know you are the mobile phone company you have developed proper feedback what you have done you have found out that uh they, they there is a customer response to your company so that you can change anything in the policy of the company you can make some derivative plan and you can find out the employee response as well this is what follow up action is so i think you have understood everything about the process of the planning let's revise revise it quickly what's this first is setting up objective first of all we set the objectives then we develop the premises based upon the current situation based upon the government policies or the legal environment and then we find out the different different alternatives and then we evaluate those alternatives we evaluate those alternatives on the basis of its pros and cons positives and negatives then we choose from those alternative we select from those alternative this is the decision time then when we take decision and then we implement those plan the plans that has been made we will implement those plan we will direct our employees will communicate we communicate our employees about those plans so can they we can achieve our goals so that they can implement those plans then we will compare the, uh, the our plan part with the performance of the employees that is follow up action that's how planning process takes place okay student i hope it is clear to you i have 
cleared each and every point now you can write each and every point in your examination very well okay students thank you so students we have understood everything about planning its limitations its different different features and we have also understood about the process of planning we have understood that how planning works and planning requires everywhere student whether it is your school it is your home in any organization in private organization in government organization as well as everywhere we have understood about the steps of process of planning this question is based on that i will i will not going to explain you what was that you have to answer me because i hope it is clear to you i have explained you each and everything about the process of planning now you have to answer me the question answer it to me students the question says identify the correct sequence of steps involved in the planning process we have studied studied that there are many many processes involved in the process of planning that is setting objective developing premises etc so here you have to tell me what is the correct sequence yes yeah, students planning work in a sequence way in a simplified sequence way so your options are answer me eval option a is evaluating alternative identifying alternative course of action setting objective and then developing premises or option b first is setting objective second identifying alternatives course of action and next is evaluating alternatives and then developing premises your option c is setting objective developing premises identifying alternative course of action evaluating alternative course of action and selecting an alternative your last option is setting objectives developing premises identifying alternative course of action evaluating alternative course of action so students answer me you have 5 seconds to answer your time starts now 5 4 3 2 1 time up the correct answer is option number c student how because in planning process we have understood first of all we set the objective setting objective then we develop a premises as per the situation that if we have developed a plan we will think that what is the current scenario what is the government policy regarding that plan that is developing premises and then we will identify different different alternative course of action i have explained you that if we want to increase the sale how can we increase our sale by advertisement by producing more and so on and then we evaluate those alternative we have to evaluate which alternative is best we check out the positives and negatives we check out the pros and cons of those alternatives and then we choose among them and then we select the best alternative which is best for our organization which is suitable for our organization so that we can move toward achieving our organizational goal okay students i hope it is clear to you i have explained each and every detail about planning so you can understand better so keep learning commerce student we'll meet in our next class thank you